Hi everyone, welcome back to Dynamics 365 Academy. Dynamics 365 Academy brings you video course on Microsoft Dynamics 365 Power Platform Azure and Microsoft 365. My name is Feroz Muhammad, and in this video, we are going to talk about sale territories in Dynamics 5 customer engagement. We'll talk about what sale territories are, what are the benefits of using sale territories, and how we can create and configure sale territories within the customer engagement app. So here I am on my CRM customer engagement application, and here I can just access the dashboard. Let me explain what sale territories are. So when you're working for a sales organization, you may be operating across multiple region, maybe a different district within the same state or across the state within the country or maybe across multiple countries. So using sale territories within CRM or in any other app, you can just manage the sales area or I would say the geographical area which is assigned to a salesperson or a team. So if you have operation across multiple geographies, across multiple districts, for example, we can assign each of this district to each of the sales team so that we can better manage them. So they know their customer group or geographical area in which they want to sell the product. Now, these kind of areas can be configured for customer support or marketing operations as well, but generally we, we call them as sales territories. So within customer engagement application, by default, we have the sales territories functionality under settings as an administrator or as a developer we can configure that then we can make use of them by using the sales territories we can just organize your sales effort such as the opportunity that we create the leads that we generate and also the revenue that we generate across these sales territories and also we have a feature called gold metrics we can also configure the gold metric as per the sales territories We'll also see what are the other functionality which can be configured along with sale territories. So here I am on my CRM application. So if I'll just go to accounts, I'll be able to access all my account records. So within the account record, I can just configure sale territory. So here is my account record. I just have to select the proper form here. Scroll down, I'll be able to find the field called territory, which is nothing but a lookup. And once I select, I'll be able to find the list of a lot of territories here which is configured for India, then US locations and etc. right? So I can select one of this, which is set, which is not a mandatory field, but I can configure it as mandatory. So by default for the account form, this territory has been configured. Now in case if you are not finding this field configured, you have to customize the form and then we have to configure territory field. Same way we can configure the territory field for records such as opportunities, leads, price list and etc. By default within price list, we have a territory field as well. Now where we can configure the sale territories. So here I have show you how you can just select one sale territory within a record. And if you want to access them, we have to go to settings area. I'll just click on this button, gear button, click on advanced settings. Under business management setting, I'll be able to find sale territories. So as an administrator, I can come here I'll be able to view all the sale territories over here. So we have set up a lot of them over here for each of the areas within India. And also we have some sale territories related to different countries as well. Right. So I'll be able to find the list of all the territories are here. Then I can create a new sale territory by clicking this plus new button, which is pretty straightforward. Here is a new territory form. So I have a few fields to enter. So I'll enter a field like uh, Bangalore which I may have it. So I will say Bangalore North and I can configure one manager over here. So I just need to look for a manager. Okay, which has to be a user or a team. So I just need to find a user record over here. Let me see if I have anyone configured here. So I simply has to select one user record from here. Okay, which is not mandatory anyway. Then there's a parent record field is there. So Bangalore North is coming from where? So I can just say Bangalore once again. Nope. So what I can say is uh, India, India South, right? So Bangalore belong to India South. I can simply say Bangalore, and then I can, can then I can simply click on Save. That means this record will be saved as a territory. Once this record is created, then I can just uh, configure it on my sales records. So I'll go back to the records over here. So in case if I find uh, India North here. So one territory can have a parent territory. The same way, 
we can have child territories as well. In that way, we can configure the territories with one another. So here I have selected one territory called India North. Go to sub-territories. I might be able to see a few. If not, I will be able to add some, right? So Delhi, Gujarat, Punjab, these are the sub-territories for India North as per the geographical location. I can add a new one the same way we have created. But this time, what is the difference is this time when I'm creating a new territory, for example, I would say Haryana as well. And then parent I can say as India North. That means to this parent, one more territory will be added, which is very, very straightforward. Now, once I open a territory, what the other important thing is, I can just select a territory over here, for example, let me select Delhi. If you can see this hierarchy over here, right? The hierarchy symbol. What it means is it has a sub-territory hierarchy. It can have a parent or a child. That's what this means. So by looking at here itself, you'll be able to find the hierarchy of territories. So if I go to this particular territory called Delhi, go to related, I'll be able to find members. Once I click members, I'll be able to find the list of employees connected to this particular territory. We don't have any connected here. So I can click on add members and then I can add users over here. Ideally, they are going to be the sales managers or sales employees in this particular organization. So look like we don't have much user records over here in that situation. I can simply ignore it. Otherwise, once you click on add members, these user records will be added to this particular members area. On the other side, if I'm going to use a record where I'll be able to find the particular territory to which that particular salesperson has been assigned to. So I can simply go to a user record, then I can find where, whether a territory has been configured for that user. So I'll click on security, users. So I'll be able to find the list of all the users. These are all like temporary users. I just want to find an enabled user to have access. So these are the users, right? So I'll just go to this particular user and then I can go to territory. There might be a field over here, which is talking about the territory. If not, we can configure it. Here you go, right? Territory on the right hand side. So that means this person has been assigned to India East Territory. That means every opportunity, every lead or every account that he manages will be belong to that. So even when I'm creating a report for revenue, then we'll be able to find what is the revenue has been generated from the last quarter from the India East region. So every revenue for, from the opportunity that he closes, will be added to this particular region. So that's the idea of sale territory. The same way we go to price list there also we can assign price list into a particular territory. Let's see that as well. So go to settings, product catalog, go to price list, open up any of the existing price list over here. So within this price list record, if I scroll down, I'll be able to find a subgrid at the bottom called territory relationship. There is no territory has been assigned to this particular price list but once i click on this plus new button i'll be able to add a new territory into this price list or vice versa so just go to this particular price list and then the form opens up and here i'll be able to look for a territory it's actually we are just connecting a link here so i can look for a territory here so what you have to do is uh, you simply have to look for records from here right so what kind of records? Since you have selected territories, they are appearing here recently access records. So I can simply select them, right? That means this price list is connected to India no, uh, territory, right? So there is an error. We just need to give a name to the role here. So the other option of doing that one is simply click on search here. So we'll get the advanced search option or advanced lookup. Click on that. Then you have to select the type of the record. So on the left hand side under tables, we'll be able to find the list of entities. Okay. And then we have to select territory from the left hand side and we can select it. There you go. Select territories. There you go. Select territories from the left hand side. From here, you can select the records. You can select any of the records and then you can link that. Both having the same experience. All right. So we discuss about sale territories, what sale territories are and how we can make use of them. So we are going to talk about goal settings. We'll be talking about sale territories again in detail. So we understood sale territories and how we can create sale territories as a system administrator and how we can link the territory record with that of other records such as accounts and price lists and users and etc. 
Now, in case if you want to add the sales directory lookup in any of the other records, for example, in any of the sales record or marketing record, we can customize the CRM form and then we can add that sales directory lookup onto your CRM form. That's what we can do. That's it for this video. If you like to check out more videos on Dynamics 5, Power Apps or Power Platform, you can check out Dynamics 5 Academy YouTube channel. And also please don't forget to like, subscribe and share our videos. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.